What should you do during inflation? Supply-demand imbalances cause inflation, according to Lindsay Bell. Ally Financial's chief markets and money analyst, this inflationary period is exceptional since prices are rising and declining. COVID was certainly the key cause, she stated, of supply chain issues. Talent shortages and the Ukraine conflict have also limited supplies. Post-pandemic demand has surged due to the stimulus that put money into consumers' hands and the markets. Most Americans lack financial experience in controlling inflation. In the coming months, what experts recommend this money allocation? Curious to know more? Now let's get deeper into this. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Let's start the video. You'll want to create a budget. Many Americans now budget due to rising inflation. 80% of Debt.com poll respondents indicated they budgeted in 2021, up from 68% in 2019. Bell encourages the 20% of Americans who haven't developed a spending plan to do so immediately to track how you're spending and what you're spending on, given that there have been substantial price variations in many areas. In the wake of rising costs, Bell recommends using online price comparison sites before filing up and cancelling unwanted membership services. Switching from branded to private label brands at the grocery store is one of the easiest methods to save money, she says. Settle all outstanding variable debt. Debt repayment is often seen as a low priority for many people, with payments being made from whatever funds are left over at the end of the month. According to the author, financial counselor and creator of Live, Learn, Play, Jay Zygmunt, paying down debt, especially variable debt like credit cards, lines of credits, personal loans and variable rate mortgages should now rank second to living expenditures and well ahead of investments. He explains that while there are many investment opportunities, nothing can surpass the returns on a credit card, often about 16 to 18 percent. Set aside money for emergencies. It's tempting to look for assets that can keep up with the inflation as prices rise. However, experts advise putting aside enough money to handle any pressing financial issues before even considering where to invest. Despite how obvious it may be, less than half of Americans have 1,000 saved for a rainy day. Zygmunt advises, if you have debt, pay it off first, but second is putting it in an emergency fund, noting that savings accounts earn very little interest. An emergency fund will remain a high return savings account, and frankly, you will effectively lose money due to inflation. But it has a job, to be there in case of emergency, so you don't want to risk that, says one financial expert. You will investigate the bond market. After paying off debts and saving three to six months of living expenses, investors should consider safe, inflation-beating assets. Both Bell and Zygmunt recommend starting with US Treasury I-bonds, which are geared to inflation. Because its interest rate is pegged to inflation and resets every six months, May and November, and can be cashed out after a year. If you anticipate inflation will continue to move higher over the next six months, it's not an awful place to be, says Bell. You can only invest $10,000 a year. Tips is the next government-backed investment to consider. Dipping your toes into the bond market with tips is a more beneficial place to be, adds Bell. Put money into your house. The recent surge in housing prices is fantastic news for individuals who already own a home, but it is bad news for those wanting to enter the market. Though Bell acknowledges that rising loan rates could dampen demand, he advises renters to wait before purchasing their first house. She also recommends that homeowners make improvements to their current homes rather than buying new ones due to rising construction costs. According to her, home upgrades continue to be economical, so long as home prices are going higher and economists predict home prices to remain elevated, even with rising mortgage rates. Due to the market's quirks and possible rewards, many Americans have invested in recent years, thanks stimulus checks, meme stocks and the cryptocurrency frenzy. Now is the time to avoid risky bets and use tried-and-true inflation protection methods before investing in inflation-indexed assets. Create a spending plan, pay off debt, and set up an emergency fund. This is it, everyone. So, what do you think? Leave a comment and let us know. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. Also, put on the notifications because the next video is going to be a great one.